Hey Divi creators, thanks for stopping by and checking out our documentation for the Divi Divider Module. The Divi Divider Module makes it easy to add horizontal lines to your website design. You can define the dividers color, thickness, width, and alignment. In this documentation video, we'll walk you through how to use the divider and all of the content and design options available within the divider module. Let's dive in. Let's start by navigating to our page and enabling the visual builder. This will reload the page into Divi's drag and drop interface. Hover over the divider and click the gear icon to bring up the module settings. Module settings are always grouped into three broad categories, content, design, and advanced. Within each tab, settings are further sorted into groups, which can be collapsed or expanded with ease. Many of these settings are available in all or most of Divi's modules and have their own separate detailed documentation. So in this video, we'll stick to settings or settings groups that are unique to the divider module. First, let's look at the content settings groups. The first settings group under content is visibility. By default, the show divider option is toggled to yes, making the divider visible. To hide the divider, toggle this option to no. The remaining settings groups under content, link, background, and admin label are common amongst all or most of Divi's modules, so we won't go over them in this video. For more information, please refer to the written documentation. Now let's dive into the design tab settings. The first settings group is line. This is where you can style the line with settings like line color, line style, and line position. Simply choose a color from your color palette or use the eyedropper icon to find a new color. To select the line style, click the drop down menu and select one from the nine line styles available. To position the line, select a position from the drop down menu. The next settings group is sizing. In addition to all the standard sizing options available within Divi modules, here is where you can set the thickness of the divider weight and the divider's width and alignment. The remaining settings here, spacing, border, box shadow, filters, transform, and animation are common amongst all or most of Divi's modules, so we won't linger on them here. For more information on each of these, please refer to our written documentation. Now let's dive into the advanced tab settings. First is the CSS ID and Classes Settings group, which allows you to apply unique CSS IDs and classes to the module and style them via your child theme style sheet or the custom CSS area in Divi's theme options. The custom CSS group also allows you to apply custom CSS to certain elements within the module like the main element. The rest of the settings groups here, conditions, visibility, transitions, position, and scroll effects all give you powerful and granular control over how and when this module is displayed. However, since these groups are common in all or most of Divi's modules, they have their own separate documentation. Please visit the written documentation for more details. And since that brings us to the end of our divider module settings, I'll click the green check button to save our edits, then exit the visual builder to view our page. And that's it for the Divi Divider Module demonstration. Before you go, make sure to check out all of our design tips and tricks for the Divi Divider Module over on the Elegant Themes blog, which is linked in the video description. And don't forget to check out the rest of our documentation at elegantthemes.com documentation so you can be on your way to mastering Divi.